What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Let's Go Eevee! Last time, we set off into Viridian Forest on our way to Pewter City. Uh, we managed to encounter quite a few trainers here, but we still have a bit of a ways to go before actually being able to leave the forest. Ooh, wait a minute, I already caught a Pikachu here. <laughs> In this episode, we are going to continue going through Viridian Forest and hopefully make our way to Pewter City while trying to get all the items and fight all the trainers and whatnot. Um, what exactly is Olavrina set out first? Okay, that's fine. Kind of wanted to make sure that- Ah! Just wanted to make sure that a different Pokemon other than Eevee was out in front, just in case I encounter another trainer. Okay. For some reason, I thought that there was a Pidgey just gunning for me, and I realized, oh wait, that's just Lavrina. <laughs> okay. I don't think I was really that far from the end, to be honest. Uh, but I wasn't quite sure how far I had left to go. No, oh, well... I guess I had a bit more than I thought. You know, you can't pick on a battle if you're a real Pokemon trainer. Says who? Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, too late. <laughs> All right, Doug, what have you got? Uh, oh, well, this is gonna be pretty easy. Well, what are you gonna do, harden to death? Why is it only level three? Well, whatever. Besides, it's not like Harden's going to help it with Gust. So, there we go. Goodbye! Well, that was simple. She's only 17. I mean, I know it was only a level 3 Kakuna, but it's still technically an evolved Pokemon. Ooh, a Metapod. Um, eh, I'm gonna try my best to not really go gun ho on catching Pokemon. Told myself I would be doing that. And I'm gonna try to stick to it as much as I can. So that's the trainer that we saw before. There's a buffed up Weedle. And there's another trainer. Alright then. Do you want to know the trick for throwing a Pokeball well? Yeah, it's called throw it underhand. They tried overhand and that didn't exactly work all that well. Oh, a Pidgey. All right, Pidgey fight. Okay. Oh, ugh. well, actually that should still work. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that this should still work. Because I think Gust has the same amount of power. Yeah, it pretty much does. It has the same amount of power as Gust. And they both get the same type attack bonus. So that's not really much of an issue. Go ahead and use Gust. And now you're dead. And useless critical. Because of course. It's just like Fire Emblem. It's just not a Pokemon game without useless criticals. And we get three more Pokeballs. So what do you have to say? Throw a Pokeball to hit the center. <sighs> Already know that. That's how you freaking catch the Pokemon to begin with. Uh, let's see. Kakuna. Metapod. A Pidgey that's going right for me. Along with my own Pidgey. And an item. Ooh, a lure. All right, well, I know what those are from Pokemon Go, but how exactly do they function here? Let's see, lure. A glass metal perfume that makes rare poke rare Pokemon more likely. Huh, interesting. Very interesting. If I really wanted to try to get rare Pokemon at the beginning of a route, that might not be a bad idea. 
and it's still random chance, so it's not like that would violate the rules of the Nuzlocke either. Though, I am a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit concerned because I don't exactly have a good team composition for fighting Brock. Oh, uh, I'm super scared because I don't have any grass types that's usable. I don't have any fighting moves. At least I don't, I don't think Eevee. I know Eevee does learn a fighting type move. But I don't think... I don't think Minato has that. Not yet at any rate. Well, Lavrina leveled up. Ooh, boost the speed. Okay. Hmm. Well, thankfully I've got a Pidgey. Okay, I'm wondering if I should... Mm. No, I'll chance it. I'm going to hope that... Okay, so I'm going to hope that I can actually utilize whatever I find in Route 3. Alright, so that's my current team composition, just so I... Quick refresher! If you notice the skinny trees on the roadside, chopped out, which is cut. Okay, let's hope for a grass type, maybe a bell sprout. Pidgey, Pidgey. Caterpie. Ah! Damn it! Caterpie it is. Ah, damn it! I was really hoping. Ah. Damn it all. I was really hoping to find a bell sprout. This is. Brock is going to be a pain. And I caught it. All right, and cheese. Well, that helps out significantly. The being grew to level eight. I mean, I grew to level ten. Ah, there it is. There's double kick. Okay, so that should help out a lot. Um, let's get rid of tackle, because quick attack is just a better form of it. You know, learn double kick. Sid grew to level seven. And Peach grew to level 7. Woo! Peach is evolving! Peach has evolved into Kakuna! Hooray! And we haven't caught a Kakuna. Able to move only slightly. When endangered, it may seek out its stinger and poison its enemy. You know, if it evolved from a Weedle. And Peach learned Harden. Alright. Oh yeah, extra small. Jeez, this is one tiny Caterpie. Alright, well there's our sixth freaking... Party member. Uh, were there bells around here? Were there bells around here? I'm going to be super upset because there probably are. Whatever, not important. We need to give a name to our Caterpie. All right. So, what is Caterpie's name going to be? Let's pull up the random number generator and find out. Okay, so that number correlates to... <laughs> okay... Sure? I'm not quite sure how fitting this is. Vincent from Catherine. All right, so now we have a full party, and I am scared. I am super scared right now, so I'm actually going to do a little bit of training. 
Yikes, I do not have a good party set up for Brock. I just don't. Also, where are the freaking Pokemon? There was a <laughs> Oh, hi, Eevee. Could it be melting? Are you a Glaceon, Eevee? Are you? Don't worry, I'll pet that heat out of you. <laughs> poke, poke. <laughs> Alright, enough for now. Ah, uh, freaking course that there were bell sprout here. Man! Oh well, whatever. We've now made it to Pewter City. Hey, nice! I was hoping we'd run to each other. I fall out. You know there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Destro? You can battle against gym the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. When I get stronger, you definitely gotta try to take him on. <laughs> Jeez, Minato, you ready for a good paddle too, huh? Who wouldn't be? Alright then, you're making one to cheer you guys on too, so take these. What do we get? Ooh, five potions. I bought some for you with the prize money I've been earning in all my battles. Beat that gym leader, Destro, and you can really call yourself a true trainer. Give your best! Okay. Well, I suppose we can look around Peter City a little bit, just to see what's here. You should be careful with your money. Don't go blowing it all in one place. But it's also fun sometimes to buy a whole bunch of Pokeballs at once. <laughs> I wonder if Premier Balls are still a thing. I imagine they are. Okay, boy training is Nidoran. We get our Pokemon in trade, so it's finicky and hard to handle. Well, I'm gonna get in trades grow faster, but they won't listen to a weak trainer in battle. Well, I mean, I'm not doing any trading, so that's not exactly a big concern for me. Uh, could I? Nah, there's a fence in the way. Ooh, but there is an item. An X defense. Eh. I really don't like the X items. I personally find them just completely useless. But who knows? They may be beneficial in a run like this. It's a Caterpie. Know what I'm doing? No. I was pretty lured to get wild Pokemon to come visit my flower beds. I think you're doing the same thing. I'm playing Repel around to keep wild Pokemon out of my flower beds. <laughs> All right, all right, is there anyone else around the museum? I probably should check out the museum. Something cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. Um, there probably wouldn't really be anything to buy at the Pokemon, at least not right now. Uh, oh no! Well, let's see what's in the house. Better chance of catching po a Pokemon if you throw your Pokeball and get him right in the center. Oh, it never is. Oh, there's a cafe poster! Pokemon learn new moves as they grow, but some moves must be learned by TMs. Yes, 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 yes. Uh. Oh, great. I'm gonna be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Tried to move my screen back so that way I could see where my timer was at. And my mouse died! So that was cool. Okay, so I need a, to learn cut for that, or the, whatever the equivalent is. What was that, chop down? What you got, Lavrina? Lavrina found something in the plants. Ooh, a Nana Berry. I forget what Nana Berries do. They, they lower the erraticness of Pokemon, don't they? Uh, let's see. Pineapple berries. Slightly more likely to get an item when it's given to Pokemon you're trying to catch. Okay, so I'm more likely to get items. No, nan- Oh, nanat berries. Yes, that was what it was. <laughs> Pineapple berries were what I apparently had already. So I was right. I just looked at the wrong thing. This is my sweet little Free. When she walks with me, she sometimes finds us in the wild. Hello, Butterfree. Okay, well, there's not really a whole lot else. I mean, I suppose we could check out the museum before going to Brock. 
You think you could do me a favor? Sure. I want to go to the pewter museum, but my dear Slowbulk here is just refusing to budge. Don't touch! Do you think you can keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a little while? Sure. Oh, thank you very much! In that case, please keep my dear Slowpoke company for a little while. Two hours later. Three hours later. So much more time later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And thank you for keeping an eye on dear Slowpoke. Here, this is for your trouble. Ooh! I would love it if you could keep an eye on Slowpoke again sometime. If you're gonna keep giving big pearls, hell yeah. Stories that say Clefairy come from the moon. People start seeing them after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Clefairy! Okay, so there's the gym. Uh, I suppose I can check out the museum and then we can call it a day. Um. Oh, I. Ah, okay. That's probably where I can go to resurrect fossils, and that's where I need cut. 50 Poké Dollars for kids. Sure. Ooh, it's an Aerodactyl. Okay, so there's a Kabutops fossil. Rare ancient Pokémon Kabutops. Uh, various fossils. Um, I mean, I see a dome fossil. Is that a Dragonite head? Wow, an ancient Pokemon! Pretty good Aerodactyl. Grateful for my long life. Now I think I get to see the bones of a dragon. Uh, well, I mean, Aerodactyl technically isn't a dragon, but... Hi there. We're running a space exhibit. Space exhibit. Object fell on Mount Moon, thought to be a moonstone. That is one big moonstone. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? It looks like an ordinary rock to me. Aw, oh, people don't appreciate the wonders of space. I want an Eevee. Can I please get, can you please get one for me? Yeah, I'll get you an Eevee suit, I promise. <laughs> Ah, okay, that's just what those two are. Ooh, space shuttle. It's like an old space shuttle. Probably from the Hoenn region. The origin of the universe. Um... I guess it would, like the Big Bang. Then it's just matter. Matter eventually comes together. That matter eventually forms suns and planets and galaxies are formed. And then eventually the Earth was formed. <laughs> It's been decades since mankind stood on the moon, and now we're following the dream of standing on that faraway red planet. News about space always makes me so excited. Huh. You know, it's weird that they actually talk about space travel, because that's, you know, actual current events. Uh, let's see. A red box. Which doesn't seem to do anything. Saw a beautiful crystal when you looked into the microscope. More fossils. Pieces of a meteor. Huh, you know, if they had every Pokemon here, this would probably be the place where you could change Deoxys' form. In fact, I think this was the place where you could change Deoxys' form in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Alright, well, there wasn't really a whole lot here. Neat, interesting, but not really important. So, now that we've got that situated, I think... N well, actually, we... You know, now... We have a bit more time left. I mean, we don't have that much time left. But if we, I say, we walk into the gym. Hiya! 
You're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now, let's get started. The Pure City Gym only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are a few types that have an advantage against the gym leader's rock-type Pokemon. But for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we have them use either grass or water-type Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or water-type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those on me. Oh, I'm actually kicked out of the building. Well, damn it. This is why I was really upset when I couldn't get a freaking Bell Sprout. So, I mean, I have plenty of Bell Sprouts on me. Uh, we'll replace Vincent for now, just so we can enter the gym. I don't like having to utilize, like, Pokemon that aren't, you know, part of the team. But, you know, for the sake of progression, we kind of have to. Besides, it's not like I have to use Bellsprout, so it's not like that's anything that's breaking the, the run. All I gotta do is just replace it with Vincent again. And there we go. Okay. I do not have a good team composition for this. I have Minato, and Minato can be helpful. Uh, but like the only other Pokemon that might be able to do something would be Atlas. But does Atlas... No, Atlas doesn't know any good moves to go up against this. Uh, and the rest are either flying or bug, and those are terrible. Uh... I mean, auto it is. Well, let's get going, then. And this is the Pewter City Gym. Trainers here are a bit different from those you faced so far. I mean, it'll be nice to actually get into a few battles. Plus, it allows me to see what level these trainers are. Uh, let's see. Level 7. Okay, not bad. Minato? Okay, not bad. Defense Curl! Okay, I can deal with that. It's not going to straight up attack me, and that's going to make things significantly easier on my part. And down goes Geodude. Alright, 42 experience for Minato. Atlas leveled up. Did not learn Bite or anything. No Pokeballs, though. Alright, let's keep going, then. Stop right there, kid! You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock! Really? Because he's like 20 feet in front of me. Alright, and Geodude? Geodude. All right, let's go, Minato! Pretty much the exact same fight. Oh, yeah! Tackle. I feel like Minato is a tank. That is one thing that I do like about Minato, is the fact that it is, like, really freaking strong. And I know, like, I remember hearing somewhere that, like, the starter Pokemon is, you know, a mirror move, is tougher than, you know, average Pokemon that are the same. Yeah, no kidding, kid. But I didn't think it would be that much of a difference. Ah, uh, still, level 10, facing up against Brock. I am a little bit concerned. I think I may want to... Hmm. But here's the thing. As much as I would like to just go out and do training, I also feel like that would sort of defeat the purpose somewhat. Because if I just overly grind, then it's not really much of a challenge, and I'm not even, like, potentially risking my Pokemon. Which is kind of the point of a Nuzlocke. 
Uh, we are a bit over time right now. But... I think we could probably afford to keep going. Now, the only question is, who should I send out? Ooh, the only one who could potentially be good would be Lavrina. Uh, let's see. I mean, there's Sand Attack, but there really isn't a whole lot that I could do. Or, there is Kakuna. Hmm. Defense of 13. Yeah, defense of 24. Jeez. Uh, I'm... Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I want to use my other Pokemon in battle, but just none of them are good against Brock. Ugh. Well... I don't want to just constantly rely on Minato, but I think for this, since I just did not get good luck with the Pokemon, let's go. So, you're here. I'm Brock, Pure City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all rock, hard as rock, and have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock types. <laughs> You're gonna challenge me even knowing yet you'll lose? That's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it. Show me your best. All right, now we fight Brock. All right, first is Geodude. What level is Geodude? 11. Oh, mistakes were made. Okay, well, I do have some potions. Alright, how much damage does this do? Alright, that wasn't too bad. Thankfully, Minato is a tank. <laughs> you wouldn't expect an Eevee to be a tank, but sure enough. Right, and thankfully, you know, I was just on the verge of leveling up, so that will help out. Oh, if it gets the boost in defense. Speed! Ugh. Well, whatever. 25 defense is pretty good. And Onyx. Um, stick with Minato. Level 12. Okay. Let's go for Growl. Let's just lower Onyx's attack. Rock throw. Oh, that wasn't too bad. What was I worried about? I mean, it's probably not going to take a whole lot of damage. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a few hits. Ooh, yeah, I figured that'd be a crit. Still, if that's a crit, then I should still be all right. Ooh, I might be able to finish this off next turn. Uh, still a little worried, but I think that we're good. Hey! What was I worried about? Sid grew to level 8. And Sid learned Blear. And Peach got to level 8. And Vincent got to level 8. It seems I underestimated you. Now, does that mean Vincent? Yep, Vincent's le or leveling up. Evolving! Vincent evolved into Metapod! Hooray! Alright, what does the Pokedex have to say? Hardens its shell to protect itself. However, a large impact may cause it to pop out of its shell. Oh, that's right, it's super tiny. And 
Vincent learned Harden. <laughs> it's funny because Catherine. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder badge. Yeah! With a Boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you. Without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you too. Ooh, headbutt. If you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon to move within it. A team can use it as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. TM01 contains Headbutt. It deals damage to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them with the head as hard as rock. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you alright, Minato? <laughs> Minato's so proud, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> <Folk. laughs> okay, we're done here. Still, that went a lot better than expected. I was actually rather worried with the fact that I didn't have any freaking grass type Pokemon. Hey, you there, newbie! And don't tell me, you've got to be Destro, right? How did you know that? Because you look just like my Gramps said. I'm blue. I heard from my Gramps that two new kids set out from Palatown to become strangers, just like I did once. So I came to check you out. Now I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me. Well, it looks like I showed up too late, huh? It seems like you're not too shabby yourself. So I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. Ooh, thanks, blue. Those would be even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you got there. That's a Pokedex, right? Ah, so Gramps finally went and made one. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. You better do a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure, he's an old coot, but he's still not Gramps. Smell you later, newbie! I was not expecting to see blue this early on in the game. I mean, I had heard that, like, blue and red were in the game, but I was expecting them to be, you know, late game stuff. Not after the first gym. Oh, well, whatever. Now that we have beaten Brock, uh, I am actually going to go and switch out my party. I am going to put... Uh, I'll put... I didn't want to go to the box. I actually wanted to move Lavrina. I want... I'll put Lavrina up front. And then heal up my Pokemon. And while we're doing this, next time on Let's Play Let's Go Eevee! With the Boulder Badge in hand, we will set out towards Mount Moon and continue on our Pokemon adventure. I still am not exactly a huge fan as to how RNG has given my party, but hey, I've got a tanky Eevee, so that still works. At any rate, we'll continue out of here onto Route 4 and then towards Mount Moon. So until next time, everyone, take care. <laughs>